At the NAM show, we're here with JHS Pedals with Nick, and Nick's gonna walk us through some of the line. Morning, Nick. Yeah, hey, good morning. <laughs> yeah, um, well, we've got some really, really cool stuff coming out. Um, I can start with our most popular pedal right here. It's called our Morning Glory. It's a uh, transparent overdrive modeled after a Marshall Blues Breaker. Um, it's got a bright cut switch on it, uh, and uh, yeah, our, our drive, it's got huge range, awesome transparency. Uh, I think like John Mayer type stuff, great for blues, uh, but it also cleans up incredibly well. It keeps your tone incredibly well. Next, we have our Superbolt overdrive. Uh, this is an incredible replicated sound of the old vintage Super amps in a box. Um, and this, this is one of our newest ones. It's called the Moonshine. Um, it's an 808 Type-esque, uh, but it's much, much higher gain. You run in nine volts, but internally it runs at 18 volts. So there's an incredible amount of headroom in it. It's very, very heavy. And uh, it's got a two-way toggle for a, for a lower gain and a higher gain. Um, and uh, this right here is our Panther Cub. Um, we had a, ped a pedal called the Panther uh, that retailed for $4.99. It was twice this size. Uh, we were able to repackage that entire pedal into half the size with all of the features plus a couple extras for $150 less. So, and it's got a full second of delay, 100% true analog with tap tempo. No digital circuitry integrated into the circuit. Um, yeah, incredible. And this is our brand new, we're releasing, this is our first day to release it. It's called, uh, it's called the Color Box. Um, this is our, uh, our tribute to, uh, uh, to the Neve consoles. Um, uh, so this is an incredible preamp. Uh, it does anything from EQing your amp and your guitar to, uh, to doing light boosting uh, and goes all the way up to incredible smashing direct in tones through your amp. Um, so it's got incredible stuff going on. Our, uh, this is our pulp and peel compressor. Uh, we designed this compressor because there seem to be so many compressors out there that were designed after the, uh, the Dynacomp Ross type-esque uh, compressors that would really smash and squish your sound. And we wanted something that was a lot more breathable. Uh, so this is some. This is a very vintage-sounding, uh, uh, diode-driven uh, compressor uh, that doesn't squash it, but gives it very, very tasteful uh, uh, compression to your guitar and keeps all of your tone uh, from your rig that you've put so much money into. So. I thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us this morning, Nick. You're very welcome. Have a great day. Good luck at the show. Thank you. Thanks for coming to talk with us.